Whoa, did we just discover one of the most rare types of black holes? Hello, wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about this uh, relatively recent announcement from only a few weeks ago, where uh, the scientists um, basically said that they may have just seen the super rare type of a black hole known as the intermediate black hole. But it's not really the one you see on the screen, because we don't really know what those black holes look like just yet. This one here is the Sagittarius A star, that's the supermassive black hole in the middle of our galaxy, and um, we believe that this particular black hole has a lot of these intermediate black holes orbiting around it. And uh, we've actually theoretically predicted them for a very long time, we also think that they may exist in um, many different um, globular clusters as well, but we've just never really seen one mostly because they don't really have any way of seeing them because it's not very typical for them to have what's known as the accretion disk that this particular black hole has and whose side is actually very very large. Now how do we actually see this black hole then? Well let me try to demonstrate it. Basically in the region of uh, central galaxy uh, there's a lot of different gas there and I tried to recreate this uh, by placing a lot of particles right here in Universe Sandbox. And um, essentially, uh, you could kind of see them uh, orbit around or move around the space, but you don't really see them do much. They're kind of just there. But when the scientists were using the ALMA telescope, the very, very large radio telescope, uh, they realized something strange was happening in one specific location. They realized that in this one region, gas was behaving very differently. It was being disrupted by something and was actually being pushed and pulled around by something invisible but very very massive and it was happening very suddenly and um, this indicated to scientists that um, not everything was as it seemed and and what they realized um, it was something that was about 30,000 masses of, of the Sun causing all of this um, right there very close to the galactic center but because um, this very massive object was not really emitting any light whatsoever, there were actually there was no energy coming out of it, there was pretty much nothing. It was just this invisible black ball that was causing all of this unusual but very powerful um, effect that uh, could only have come from basically a black hole because we don't really have any other explanation for what could be causing all of this. If it's massive, if it's practically invisible, it has to be a black hole. Um, and uh, in terms of the actual size, when they try to compare it to a real object, uh, they realized that it was actually approximately the same size as Jupiter, at least size-wise, not really mass-wise. So in other words, if I were to place Jupiter right next to this black hole that they discovered, its size uh, would be practically identical. But the mass difference here is pretty insane. As a matter of fact, if I unpause the simulation right now, um, chances are the Jupiter will actually not survive for a very long time. It's going to fall apart relatively quickly. Now, this particular Jupiter seems to be surviving just fine, but normally it just kind of falls apart. I think there's actually a slight glitch in the simulation where the tidal effects are not kicking in. But anyway, so that's uh, really the more exciting um, discovery of black holes of 2019 so far, because we've actually been speculating that these black holes are definitely out there, but we just haven't really found any. And uh, because of this particular discovery, um, we have now may have confirmed the intermediate sized black holes finally. And you can kind of see that slowly, piece by piece, the Jupiter is actually falling apart. You might not be able to see it, but there are these real little fragments, little particles of Jupiter that are starting to form the accretion disk around this intermediate sized black hole. Now, uh, if some, suddenly a planet or uh, a star comes close to this black hole, it will then be visible to us because it will have the accretion disk, it will start emitting a tremendous amount of energy. But as of now, only gas seems to be interacting with it and it's just not enough for, for it to create energy that would make it more visible. So basically it's a silent but deadly giant. And as you can see, as I kind of run the simulation here, piece by piece, the Jupiter actually starts falling apart and some of its pieces even start falling back onto the planet. It will not take very long for it to actually lose all of its mass and basically become an accretion disk. So let's just wait and see what happens. Now, for now, we don't really know much else about this black hole. We don't even have a name for it. Um, 
it's basically this unusual, mysterious, but very, very cool discovery that only happened a few weeks ago. On that note, um, I think I'm just going to let the simulation run. Let's see what, how this unusual black hole affects the Jupiter. But once we discover more, I'm definitely going to come back and explain what we've discovered and how we possibly actually might find more of these unusual giants. Thank you for watching. Hopefully now you know a little bit more about intermediate sized black holes. Maybe in some of the future videos we'll actually have a lot more to say about this. But for now, that's really it. And I think in one of the future videos, once this black hole has a name, I already have a few ideas where we're going to actually do some experiments with it just to see how things react when intermediate sized black holes come to visit various systems. On that note, subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who you think may uh, want to learn more about space and sciences through simulations and video games, and come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.